driving to the lo location. And you guys are going to come with us. Yeah. We're going to try and get as much, like, we'll get the light. footage as we can. Yeah. Um, to show you guys because, like, it's a pretty cool. And it's a private. It's like a private experience. Yeah, it's experience. pretty cool. What's good? JT family. We're back with another video. As promised, we're doing a little come with us to our little brunch date this morning. We're going to be off to a little surprise <laughs> outdoor thing. It's really exciting. <laughs> and found a way to make it work so that they could like keep their businesses open, which kudos to them. When I saw this online, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. I'm obsessed. We have to do this. Yeah. So here we are. We left the Airbnb this morning and now we're just driving to the lo location. And you guys are gonna come with us. Yeah. We're gonna try and get as much like oh my God, the light. footage as we can Yeah. Um, to show you guys because like it's a pretty cool. And it's a private, it's like a private yeah, it's experience. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're not going to say too much about it, yeah. and uh, when you see the next clip, hopefully, um, we'll be there and we'll, we'll show you a little place then. Yeah! A few minutes later. So there's nobody here right now, guys, but, but as you can see, it's an intimate, like, one-on-one -on -one outdoor yeah. domes. And they have little cabins Which back there that wrap around the building. We got a little cabin because it's cold. There's little lights and stuff. This is so cute. I'm so super, excited. Super cute. Yeah. Well. So nice. guys, we were actually just talking to the owner of this place yeah. and he was basically saying that he needed to figure something out to like stand apart from everyone mm -hmm. else. So and he came up with this little like COVID. dome city it's slash so cabin cute. city, tent city vibe. Yeah. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. They've got like a full menu. We mm -hmm. thought that it was just gonna be like uh, like tea and like scones, scones and yeah, some sandwiches like and stuff but it's looking like we actually are going to be able to have like real food which is really cool mm -hmm. um what's like the name of this place again menu. it's called the flour mill restaurant at the stone mill inn or something boutique inn it's, I don't know. it's, it's so, so cool. cool i don't know so if cool. it would be the same vibe like it without this like if yeah. it was just the mill i don't yeah. know like we have some like shots of the inside which are pretty cool, and yeah. we'll keep them in here for you. And show the inside. And of the show hotel. them. Look, and they, show you the inside. They gave you like a furry blanket. Doesn't like blankets. She I has can't. Texture problems. I have texture issues. I can't deal with like but certain things. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Way. Uh, they have like little blankets in here, and it's so cute. And a little. Like, little oh, and there's like a little heater going for us. Yes, yeah, so like nice and like toasty in here. It's really cool. Like, it's this is super so cool. super cool. It's very like high class. Like I'm like, looking at it, and I'm like, yeah. wow, it's very like cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. We'll get. We'll catch you guys later. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I ordered a French press coffee. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. They gave it to me like this, like literally, 
Like, this is fancy. This is. Don't I push mean, it down yet. It we, hasn't come I, I thought it was been two minutes. No, it hasn't. Oh, okay. But yeah, this is literally like actually very like upscale. We haven't done something nice. upscale in a while. It was, it was, I think online it was literally ad advertised as like an afternoon tea, like a high tea. And then we didn't realize yeah. that we could actually get food. So we ended we up scrapping the tea and we're just going to get like brunch because mm -hmm. we thought it was going to be a high tea is what they called yeah. it, which would be like, um, they thought there was going to be like scones and sandwiches yeah, and, and fresh like food pastries and pastries and... and stuff. And we were okay with that, mm -hmm. but we were like really hungry. So we were kind of like, shoot, like maybe we're going to have to go get food after. Mm -hmm. But luckily when we looked at the menu, they were like, yeah, you can order from the menu too. So we both got yeah. brunch. I got uh, eggs Benedict without uh, any type of meat. And then you got... I ordered like a traditional breakfast, breakfast kind of yeah. thing and then we're going to show you guys when we get the food. We'll show you I have the a food, feeling yeah. I have a feeling the food is going to be amazing. Well, they make it scratch. So that basically yeah. just means that like It's none of it's pre-made. So yeah, it's all so it's like going to take a little delicious. bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time he said for it to come, but like mm -hmm. we have nowhere to be. So No, and we're just like enjoying ourselves. This is really We're chilling. Cool. We're chilling over here. This is this is like this is the one like no other experience honestly. Yeah, like, I've honestly, never been in something like this. If you I'm want to come somewhere this. and do something that's like during COVID that you can still have a really, and it's also really nice because I feel like when you even go to a restaurant, you can't just like have your own conversation because you know, people yeah. are like really close by, but here it's like literally you can't hear anything outside. It's amazing. Yeah. And we were actually talking with the owner and, and we were saying like, do you keep these here all year round? Because like, obviously he has to keep them heated because mm -hmm. of like the mm -hmm. winter. And he was basically just saying that, um, he doesn't, he like has like a bigger structure, an even bigger structure that, that he, he puts builds. out in the summer when it's warm. Yeah. And that he like gets rid of this area, uh -huh. but like, yeah, it's super cool. And the domes even have like lights on the inside and stuff. Like, honestly, if, if it was actually fully heated, we would have had it, we would have gotten a dome, but mm -hmm. it's just way too cold right now to be yeah. in a dome. Like, it's people like are minus not, 10. I don't think that people are looking like they're having fun in these domes. No. Oh, they look like they're literally like completely Shaking. zipped up, like all like they're all like, yeah. zipped up in their parkas, like Yup. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And I just didn't really want to be cold. I'm I'm here in my just like regular shirt right now. And She's I feel like great. always cold though. I'm freezing constantly. Remember? Yeah, guys. Honestly, you're gonna have to bear with us because we're still getting used to looking into the actual camera, not looking at the screen. But I feel like when I'm looking at the camera right now, I feel like it doesn't look like I'm looking at. Like, you will. You will definitely be looking like you're looking at it. Cause that's why they put that little button there so that you can look. That's where you're supposed to look. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we will check back in with you once we actually We're get learning. our food. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. In a minute. Bye. thinking like it's so interesting and not mm -hmm. I guess interesting is not the right word but it's so essential yeah to make sure that you have like these rejuvenating mm -hmm. times with, with your, your partner. partner and then you like kind of like take the time to um you know change your scenery every now and then and like take the time to like actually go on dates and not just I feel like COVID has made it so easy for everyone to just stay inside and like have an excuse to not do anything together yeah and I think that has been like there's been so many people that have like broken up through covid and have such a have, have, have had a hard time Even like people we know yeah like maintaining their relationship over covid just because of how difficult it's been for everybody and i think like naturally it's made it's made everyone super stressed out and like struggle with a lot of other things so i yeah. think above all if you really like want it to work with your partner like you just need to find a way to make it work and to do things because there's still things you can do and they don't have and, like, to be expensive or like no. they don't have to be like extravagant like this is a little bit extravagant but it doesn't have to be like this it can be as something I'm as easy as like going bougie. we're just bougie but you could <laughs> you could go on like a nice like hike together you could go yeah. like you know 
pick up coffee and like drive around and like find like a nice a beautiful spot like and yeah. just look outside like we saw somebody at the falls the other yesterday just like parked their car and was just sitting and like watching the falls like it doesn't have to be this like big intricate thing no but it's so important i feel it's like we so needed important. this we were just we talking even, about i it. feel like did we even know that we needed it no I, that's the scary part i didn't that, even like, realize how much like i needed it and how much i was like really looking forward to this and how much i really yeah, started enjoying it that's i didn't even, scary I didn't even realize about, right? like i think things like feeling like distant and stuff like it's very easy to just like sneak up on people yeah so it's like really you know constantly doing those health checks in your relationship yeah, and being like do we need like do we need to do something like you know like because after a while like it's like obviously i could just hang out with you forever like and i've said that before like yeah. i don't get tired of like the mundane yeah i don't get tired of that with her at all and that's not what i'm saying but i still think it's important to like keep things interesting and spice things up and go places and we yeah. used to do so much of that before covid and also oh. even through covid like whenever try. when things have been more relaxed in the summer with covid we have always like gone on like b vacations and had little but like weekend we, okay, getaways but what and you stuff. need to recognize though is that that that's not always accessible to everyone no so no no we're not saying like but i'm saying that that's how okay. our relationship what i'm saying is that's how our relationship was our camera just died on us yeah. so we just have to switch yeah. that might be why you're seeing different like angles and stuff yeah. happening but Basically, I want to make sure that, like, I don't want us to come across, across like, we're, like, classes and we're just, like, you know, Enjoying times are getting things. hard, so let's just, like, jump in a car and trip go on a trip. and, like, we do don't, all that stuff. Yeah. Like, we are, like, obviously, we work really hard for yeah. what we have, and, like, but we also recognize that, like, it's not always accessible to people to just do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that we don't come across any type of way. And, yeah. like, because to me, it really bugs me when, like, we're online you know you're looking at youtube and yeah. people are just like yeah. they live in this like bougie life and they're yeah. like this is easy just one two three like that's not what mm -hmm. we're trying to or do they, at all or they're just they aren't like really that appreciative or like yeah or, like, like i don't want to come across or they like don't, they, i feel like we are part of something that i really want for our youtube is i want to be like as real and raw as possible yeah. with you guys Period! and i I want to always be like like aware of everyone else's situation and yeah. our own situation and like I was saying before before our other video cut off you know this isn't accessible to us all the time either we're constantly we have, kids, we have the kids we have, we have work we're so busy yeah. but this isn't even accessible to us like most of the time anyway this is like a treat so I'm just thankful we for, just like, what, say for that. this for and us. that's why when we were talking about it originally I was like kind of being like yeah but like if you don't want to go I'm like an extravagant outing that. you can literally just grab a coffee and hang out and like mindful, in a park like, tell somebody how much you mindful, love them yeah. and that, like that you're thankful but that was just them. really important i needed to bring that up because yeah. that's actually one of my number one pet peeves oh anyways our coming. food's here okay guys so we had to leave really quick because, because our food the was guy coming. the guy was coming in and we didn't know if he wanted to be filmed or not we're yeah. still kind of navigating that kind of thing yeah, like but do, look at our are you okay food, with it or you're not yeah. look at all of our food right now oh my gosh okay Hallelujah. Look at it. It's yeah. so They it's put so like good. onions in the potatoes. Oh my god, guys. I'm pretty sure that it was white people that were making this and they actually spiced the food. <laughs> <laughs> they spiced the potatoes. <gasps> Guys, this is next level right now. Okay? Hollywood. But obviously, anyway, no, I still need to ask for my hot we, sauce. Before we eat, I'm so thankful for this. I'm thankful that we came here yeah. and I'm excited. Wait, we should eat on, we should do our first bite on camera. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll be back because homie's bringing us hot sauce, so we need to wait. You a know, bit. I gotta have my hot sauce. All right, uh, I got me, not only did I get one type, but I got two types. Two types of hot They're sauce. They're out here. They're out here. They're out here. Out here. Anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, yes, we need to have our first couple bites on yeah, camera. Yeah, we're gonna like eat. Guys. Eat with you guys. Okay. But I do love you. I love you. Too. I love you. And we are going to set up the camera, have a couple bites on camera, and then we're gonna tune it out. And then we need to enjoy this for ourselves, also. Like, look at how delicious this looks. They herbed those potatoes. Ah. Guys, okay, guys. <laughs> so Yo, they fully, so, so they good. fully gave me um my my eggs Benedict on like a homemade biscuit. Oh, okay, are you eating now? Oh yeah, we're eating. Woo, look at that. Oh my god, the potatoes. Oh my, oh my god. Is it good? Oh my god. Guys, if you can make it out to this place, I think I think you should try it. Look at how that's so good. Mm. I'm gonna eat like all of them. Oh my okay. god. 
Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god, the biscuit. The biscuit. I'm obsessed. Guys, like. This is like next level good stuff right here. Oh, this is brand new, unopened. Oh! Yo, you know, this is a white people establishment because their hot sauce is untouched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, wait, I don't know what we have in the back. Seriously. He literally said that. He was like, I don't know, we'll have to look and see what hot sauce we have. He looked at me like, girl, are you really asking for hot sauce right now? Huh? This is a big bite. Yes, I'm asking for hot sauce. So sue me. Oh, show you going in, girl. <laughs> she going in. Mmm. Listen. Mmm. I thought I was going to keep it real and keep it raw. I'm not trying now. Oh my. Act like I'm perfect. Oh my God. Mm, the they're potatoes. So good. They're so good. I know, right? Oh my goodness, guys. I wish you guys could all just be here with us. Yeah. But anyway, this is like actually, like, honestly, like probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Like it's just like really flavorful. Everything's such like, Not only is it flavorful, but the ambiance is just great. Mm -hmm. And it's so private. I love that. I don't like when I'm at a restaurant with you and people are like literally one foot away at another table. People be out here nosy as hell, mm -hmm. staring at us. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to get the tea. Mm -hmm. So anytime you go to a restaurant and you're too close to someone, you can literally feel like, them like leaning over and listening. And like looking over being like, you like that. So nasty. And that's what happens. So rude. <laughs> Who is that? What are they? You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is like such a nice relaxed experience mm -hmm. but we're glad that we're able to like um share this with you guys we yeah. were also talking about it we can't even believe that like we're doing this for fun and it's actually working because honestly we started like, doing this for fun we started doing this for fun it doesn't even feel like work it doesn't feel like anything and i feel like we're, it's kind of starting to like grow a little bit. Yeah. And we're like, like what people actually like want to watch us? Like really? Like because when you first start doing it, it's not like you're doing it like yeah, like yeah, like I'm doing this for other people. It's like we obviously wanted to do it just to like kind of document what was going on with us and everything. And then now it's just like oh, we actually have people, you know, like sending us messages and saying that they an email like our like our videos. And I'm like really like oh like it, it's just like it's nice to know. I think it's one of those moments that we're having where we're like we can actually like like hang out with people talk with people mm -hmm. do like something that's actually fun for it's us really creative fun. Like, this is like honestly i had so much i had so much fun yeah like this is we're so excited that like this could be something and grow and we can yeah. have like a little family a little community going yeah. and this so we amazing. get to be like because we're kind of like a different kind of couple you know like gay we're interracial we have a lot kind of like going against us and we're also like a blended family so i think there's like just like a lot of like different stuff and i kind of like really like that we get to just like rep that and talk about it and mm. share our like experience because like i think people think about couples and that, that's why people stare at us so much in, in public and whatever because they think about couples in a certain way and we don't really fit to that standard so i think it's really cool that we get to kind of show like a different side of like what couples can look like mm -hmm. Because I think even aside from just being gay, like there's a whole bunch of other factors in our relationship that make us like different. Yep. And I like that we get to rep that and like share that because I don't think there's a lot of other people out there sharing something like us. Yeah. And so it's like it's nice cool. because it's like we know that there's people like us uh -huh. out there. Uh -huh. And I would love to be able to like see that as that person. Mm -hmm. So if we can like do that for someone, I think it's really cool. If we I can, wish like, I had that. Right? Right? Like, I wish I had half of the representation that's out there now, mm -hmm. but I would, and, and you know, we struggled a lot, like I think in the beginning of our relationship, we were, oh my gosh, in the beginning of our relationship with, you know, like our family style and like how, you know, we had to blend our families together kind of thing. And I think that like, if I had had people online that could like talk about stuff like that and like make me feel better about it and give me advice yeah. i would have been able i think we would have been able to navigate all of it so much easier yep but there's nobody talking about it so it's really cool i just think it's like we there's a lot we could share there's a lot we can share and yeah. i'm just like so excited to see where this little family goes me too so anyways guys on that note i think we yeah, are yeah. going to enjoy the rest of our Meal. they call it blunch lunch brunch lunch together brunch. 
we're gonna enjoy the rest of this and we will check back in with you guys when we are done yeah heading out yeah all right guys so this just shows how good the food is because i actually like never finished my food and i actually like cleared it mm -hmm. fully cleared it and i also did some damage guys it was so good if you can oh come my up god here, this food was like life next level good so good so but we were actually joking around because we were like saying how we're like yo this is this breakfast is like amazing mm -hmm. and i'm like this is the best breakfast i've ever had and i was like it's not even close to like what we have in our area and she's yeah. like that's because the breakfasts in our area are like eight bucks a plate <laughs> which yeah. is so true you get what you pay for that's yeah, for sure and this stuff good. is like definitely like top of the they, line they like made it from scratch so it was really like yeah. made. it was yeah. all Chef's kiss. I literally ate, good. you don't understand, I'm constantly, like, she always, like, makes fun of me for, like, baby bird, like, picking at my plate all the time, and I genuinely ate everything. Guys, you know when it's good, the food's good, because she does this thing where, like, if she, like, really likes the food, she will, actually, if you look close enough and listen close enough, you can actually hear her dislocating her jaw. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Oh my god, that's rude. And <laughs> going <laughs> in. <laughs> I, like, hoover it. I hoover it. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Yo, but like, she's not. She's she's. she's There's trying kind to of a dislocation. Face. She's trying to save face for me, but really. There's a dislocation. <laughs> dislocation. There's a dislocation. <laughs> Yo, like I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm gonna be real on this channel. I'm not gonna be like fake. So yeah. Yeah, she dislocates. Do we not call it dislocate the jaw? Yeah, we do. Exactly. Because I, so I have like a big me. mouth, low key, when I want to. I can put a big bite in there. Guys, I'm like normally the eater, like the person that eats quicker than her. But yeah, when she's this. hungry, you know she's hungry because, like, she I'm will be done her food, like, and I'm like halfway done my plate. Yeah. And every other every time, time, I'm like and done. She'll look at my plate and she'll be like, "What happened?" Like she doesn't <laughs> even chew. I don't know what happened. <laughs> she dislocates the jaw. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, so we so are official. We finished. And we're about to hit the road. It's time for us to go home. We are so yeah. tired. Yeah. We're ready to go. Home. Ready to go. We're ready to go home. It's been a fun weekend though. But yeah, we're gonna go home and probably binge watch some TV and do some chores and, and just get ready for edit. Monday. Yep, and then get ready for Monday because we both have to go to work on Monday and we yeah. get the kids back on Monday. So. We've got a lot to yeah, do. We are going to end things out on that note. And Thanks for watching. Yeah. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you know we're dropping videos. And yeah, check out our queer art project down below for queer minimalist prints. And there's and also, apparel. yes, minimal neutral LGBTQ apparel down below as well. And we our want to start a vlog yes. channel. Digital you want setup. To start a YouTube channel. Digital These setup. These are some easy, uh, crazy beautiful cover girl. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of the things that we use yeah. just to start out. So it's already linked in the description yeah. down, so you don't have to like search things up mm -hmm. and be like, oh my gosh, where do we go? So yeah. You got it. Yes. And um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.